used to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So, with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And, of course, the right service into the box. So, it's away we go then. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Masuaku. Goes long. Knocks it away. Masuaku. Come loose, just brushed off the ball there. Defenders on the back foot. He's got away. He's got options out wide. Goes for goal! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. His radar picked up on that very quickly and he was first to react. Malumbu. Luin Dharma goes looking. It is deadlocked. Oh, that's nice. Hit into the middle. Defending of the desperate variety. And it's played forward. Chance to break. Get it forward quickly. Malumbu. And that's sprayed out wide. Lovely bit of skill there. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Masuaku goes for the cross. Breaks on here. The goal now would certainly liven things up. Has he picked him out? Has a goal! It's in! First club draw. That was a given. It always was. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. A 1-0 lead established. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Balassi. Delivers a cross. That's the whistle for half-time. 
So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But Everton still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A really decent game up to now. So from the first half. A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, so it's paying dividends. Leading 1-0 at the break. And we're underway again. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. And it's Masuaku. Forward it goes. Well, they can break here. Tries to stroke it through. That's got paid to a promising move. Gets wrestled off the ball. Looking to break out here. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Look, if they want to shut down the threat, he's a very good place to start. Timely intervention. Gets it upfield. Gets into a dangerous position. Malumbu. Made into space out wide. It's a throw. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Towering header! And the lead stays intact, just. Oh, he can't hide away from how important that was. <laughs> there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Lobs it in gently and helps available out wide. This is good ball retention and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. It is just a question of running down the clock now. He's got options out wide. He gets past his man. Can he deliver? Cleared away. He's gone for it! And with that, the final whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, to me, this is...